I think it's something to do with Mike Tyndall and it's something to do with, um, of course, Fergie. So let's have a look. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, she's standing her ground, guys. The Seven of Wands. There might be some truth in this story. Uh huh. She wants to. She wants to defy the odds. She wants to set, draw a line in the sand, and stand up to people against her. And you know the drill. Um. Let's see what's crossing over. Oh. Oh. I see. We're having a seven of pentacles kind of night, aren't we? Aren't we? Madam hasn't put away enough moolah and cash for her expenses. Let's put it that way. Um, she has failed. She has failed to grow her crop. She has failed to cash her check. She has failed to make the money at the minute. Her overheads are higher than she's got money coming in. The lovers in reverse. Hmm. Now, the lovers cards doesn't necessarily always mean to people. It can mean intuition as well, you know. And the fact that Megzi is about as psychic as a brick. She has no intuition. She thinks, though, that she is being this super brainy thing saying, I want to speak to Uncle Charles. Oh, no, Papa, or whatever she calls him, the daddy that she never had. Even though that's a lie. Because she wants to be seen that she appears to be regretful. But she wants to make her own mark as well. Uh-huh. She would just like to remind everybody that she is still part of the wider royal family. And this, of course, makes her look like she is warm and she can talk to King Charles just on a whim. The King of Wands is leaving the situation. Now, we can have this as two people. This could be Uncle Elton, Auntie Elton. It's taking away all of the cash, all of that kind of stuff away from her. Or it could be Darkus Anderson. I know he isn't a one's guy, but to me, he is a king of ones in reverse kind of guy. Everybody's man into everything, and he's a social climber at to boot so this is something a story an idea that has been hatched up with darkest the judgment card in reverse she wants to remind everybody not of the content of a character but the contents of her little address book she has i wouldn't get too excited about that megan She's finding this and using a way out of it. She's trying to fig find a way out of a tight spot. And this story benefits her. We have the star in reverse. Of course, 
this is she can't read the king she doesn't understand the king she doesn't understand anything about him he is an enigma to quite a lot of people but especially to megzi because she can't read she likes to think she's really intuitive and can read people but she's not <laughs> The star in reverse, it's she still can't read the king. And she is trying to attach herself to that dude. The now, interestingly enough, we have got the pay, Prince of Swords and we have got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is a <laughs> rich wealthy family a family that offers protection when it is in the upright but when it is in reverse she wants to remind everybody that they have no protection and she's out here on her own and she's got to make her own money and all of that jazz the knight of swords upright this is about protection there is a thing here that they are salty still about having to pay for protection this is a big story to remind everybody that they are still got the king's imaginary mobile phone number or they know that they know that phone call number to buckingham palace or whatever codes to use to say to get through to the king they just want to remind everybody that So this is a long way about doing, a long way about going and fishing for relevance, even with it being a slightly odd story. It's just reminding everybody that she is in fact here, that she is in fact got a relationship with the royal family. And I think it's a load of crap. She's not going to phone the king and ask about that because you could speak to the courtiers about that. But they don't. They the problem that they've got with the courtiers is they don't take any advice from anyone, especially if they think that advice can be changed by speaking to the top man and oh my god, he'll love me and give me a different answer. When in fact, the king will probably get advice from the courtiers and the advice would still be the same. And they just. Like the brainiacs just they couldn't work that out. I mean, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. But in her mind, she's still fishing for relevance. Huh. I don't think the king's going to start giving um, out. Um, how to use your titles advice just randomly on a phone call it's not going to happen is it he wouldn't he wouldn't want to be on that he, he's not going to be on the phone with her um it's not going to happen no, never going to happen and it's just done uh, to remind everybody that she is in some ways related to the king through marriage So there we go. That is all I have for you tonight because my mouth is beginning to hurt from talking so much. Two hours, 12 minutes. 